and let us all that we can to build a better future. So, uh, everyone, CNN is filled with a bunch of reactors and blowhards and people that don't know their ass from a hole in the ground. And <clears throat> yet here we have Brian Seltzer is basically saying uh, that CNN and himself are part of reality-based media. Reality-based media. Mm. This is the same CNN I, media reality outlet. TV-based media? Possibly, because this is the same CNN where Don Lemon said maybe a black you know, hole took away an airplane. You know where they need to go if uh, they're feeling that is uh, so true? They need to go right there into that hospital. No, 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 no. Here, here's, here's my thing. CNN, you're gonna say it to me. Here, there's an exit over there. There's an exit over there. There's a fire exit right there. There's a window right here. I don't care which one you gotta use, but you gotta leave. So let's talk about it, because he got called out by Glenn Greenwald. CNN host Brian Seltzer is once again being called to task for apparently praising his own journalistic ethics and standards, calling himself part of reality-based media. Oh, whoop the frickin' do. Uh, Seltzer made his claim on the latest edition of the CNN series, Reliable Sources, <laughs> when he asked Yale professor Tim C. Snyder how the reality-based media like CNN should cover Republicans like Donald Trump, who continue to float theories about the 2020 presidential election being fraudulent. You know what this Again. also reminds me of? Yeah. You know when, like, uh, I guess the sit specifically thinking of that scene in Game of Thrones where Joffrey's like, I am the king. Any man who calls he himself the king. king is not the king. So if you have to call yourself reality-based news... But also here, here's a problem with Brian, Brian Seltzer's statement because CNN, CBS, ABC, MSNBC, Fox News, they all gave Trump trillions of dollars of free press. They focused they, on his empty podium. CNN yeah. contributed to mm. the growth of the Trump campaign. They focused on Trump. They made him the end all be all of their lives. He was the best thing that ever happened to them. Ever since, when Trump got elected, Corporate media got a huge boost in ratings. So the very fact that you have Brian Seltzer saying this should again show all of you why CNN is not based in reality. They're based in the fact that they're hoping that Trump will run again so they can get the views again because they're desperate. They need something and Trump was their orange crack. So continuing on, Snyder's advice was to drop the fair and balanced approach and to make democracy itself the story. <laughs> Whatever on that one. Seemingly endorsing more negative coverage of Republicans than Democrats. Uh, dropping a fair... Wait, time hey, out. When has that not been what CNN does anyway? Who knows? Dropping a fair and balanced approach should not be the problem for Seltzer, according to his critics. Journalist Glenn Greenwald, who actually does real journalism, by the way. Uh, journalist Glenn Greenwald tweeted that it was generally hilarious that Seltzer uh, heralds himself as part of reality-based media, given some of CNN's own problematic uh, primetime coverage. Uh, Greenwald uh, followed up with a list of controversial stories the network has given outsized airtime to, such as debunked reports about Russiagate or Russia putting uh, bounties on American soldiers in Afghanistan and outright denying the lab leak theories about the origins of the COVID-19 virus, which have been uh, given more weight as investigations continue. Also, again, uh, looking at this forward, Greenwald followed up by retweeting even more examples of CNN pushing the evidence-free conspiracy theories, including the claim that leaked emails belonging to Hunter Biden were part of the Russian disinformation campaign, despite the identity of the person who handed the laptop over to Rudy Giuliani being known and the actual content being published by the New York Post. And in case we all remember that, Twitter and Facebook uh, basically uh, made sure that that post, that article from the New York Post, would not be shared on social media for about two days or so. Because again, they were saying that that was a fake news article, but then it turned out to be true. So there we go. So again, CNN is reality based but only for those that fall in line for the establishment or the establishment talking points. So, uh, again, you guys can check out the rest of the article. It's from RT America. It might offend the cul-de-sac progressives or the vote blue no matter who crowd. But let's be very clear here. People like Glenn, Glenn Greenwald, uh, Matt Taibbi, um, Ben Norton, uh, <clears throat> uh, Aaron Maté, and uh, Max Blumenthal, these are individuals that do real journalism. People who actually cover the news. Make breaking stories. When's the last time CNN has ever challenged anyone in the establishment? I can't think of a single time. They were they, now they would say that oh well we were challenging Trump, but where were you challenging the corporate Democrats and their neoliberal policies? You see, CNN is supposed to spew out corporate talking points because in their reality, America's one big corporation and everyone is either Team Red or Team Blue. And I think now more than ever we have to unplug from relying on CNN or ABC, or CBS, or Fox News. We have to look at real independent media, real journalists. 
And there's a lot of independent media networks out there, like Hard Lens Media, like um, the Mikasu Kasa Network, like, uh, again, uh, The Gray Zone, like uh, Mint Press News, and so many others that are speaking truth to power. We need to have true citizen journalists again. And I'm calling for that in this country. Everyone, no matter what state you're living in, I know it might seem like a dauntless task, but we need more citizen journalists now. Now more than ever, because the very fact you have CNN saying, because this is the same Brian Seltzer who said that CNN was America's moral authority, or mm -hmm. journalists were oh, moral you know, authority also, they, during 9-11. Well, they also thought that uh, Andrew Cuomo was like the best thing since uh, sliced touching women. Yeah, there we go. So that's, that's the issue at hand. So I think as, I think as, as, we, as, we, as we look at this story, CNN wants to build itself as this image of being the only spokesperson for troops. When we look at their commentators, when we look at their reporting, they're just reporting and reacting to events that are happening. They don't have investigative journalists anymore. They don't do the job that actually real journalists need to do. Journalism is a blue collar job. And it's not a white collar job. It's a blue collar job where people actually get in the muck and actually speak and cover stories that need to be covered. CNN can't do that. So they're not reality-based media because at the end of the day, CNN and everyone else in corporate media built Trump up. And they continue this back and forth fight like, oh, it's Democrats and Republicans, Republicans bad, Democrats good. The Democratic and Republican establishment don't represent us. And it's a sick system. And thank, thank goodness that people like Glenn Greenwald and others are out there speaking truth to yeah. power. And remember, less than 10 years ago, Trump was not that different in perception than Andrew Cuomo. Yeah. He was a Democrat, Democrat for much of his life, uh, from New York City. In fact, I mean, there really isn't that much difference between them. They both became executive leads of parts of the U.S., both really liked touching women inappropriately, to say the least. They liked corruption. They liked obfuscating responsibility. They liked taking bribes. They did a lot of incredibly questionable things. They didn't seem to have that much of a qualm with slave labor. I don't know. I can't really see the difference. All I see are actions. Yeah. And I think at the end of the day, uh, what, what we need to see now, and this is something I want to see, more citizen journalists, more people out there. Take, for example, case in point, Robbie Yeager, who has been one of the few individuals actually covering the colonial pipeline spill. So I'm glad that Glenn Greenwald called out the hypocrisy of CNN. It probably won't be the last time Glenn or anyone else will be calling out the hypocrisy of CNN or any other corporate media outlet. But if we're going to fight for that better future, we need to acknowledge corporate media for what it is. It is there to spew out the neoliberal, neoconservative talking points in Washington, D.C. to appease their donors, their masters, all the while give kid glove interviews to the politicians who constantly make our lives a living hell. Reality-based media, fuck that.